I'm not sure who needs to hear this message. But ships don't sink because of the water that's around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets in them. So don't let what's going on around you get in you. In this world, you got the four P's of life. You got the people, the problems, the pain, the pressure. Don't let it get to you. You stand firm on the word of God and know that it is God who fights your battles. Because see, when that ship is above the water, it don't matter how much water is around it. You could be in the middle of an ocean. It does not matter. All that matters is what you have on your boat. And see, when you have Jesus in your boat, that's all that matter. All you need is just peace in the midst of that storm. Peace is not something, it's someone. <laughs> you can see right now, you out on the middle of the beach. And it's up to you if you want to play with a beach ball. You know what I'm saying? And have a good time. Or if you want to sit there and stress and look at the winds and look at the waves and say, Oh man, what's going on? No. God wants you to enjoy life. He wants you to put a smile on your face. The Bible says in this world you will face tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have already overcame the world. Jesus is basically saying, listen, you're going to go through some things in life, but don't let it consume you. Don't let it get in you. Don't let that be stronger than my word. You got to allow your faith to be bigger than any type of fear. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. But how God wants you to view it though. F-E-A-R, face everything and rise so you can face it, trace it, and replace it with the scripture. You got me? <laughs> you got to replace it with a scripture. If you're feeling fearful, replace it with the scripture that says, hold on, man, my nose running my bed. I just felt my nose run down my shirt, man. I'm not going to edit it out because I'm a real one. What the scripture say? Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So you say, see, you replace it with that and you speak the word of God. <laughs> that makes sense. I want to read you a scripture from Isaiah as well. Isaiah chapter 41, I believe. 41 uh, verse, I believe it's verse 10. Yeah, we up here. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. <laughs> boy, that's all I, boy, listen to me. I'm like a little lawnmower in the morning, boy. All I got to do, you know how you, when you're about to cut your grass, you pull the string with the push mower. <laughs> all I got to do is get into the word of God and encourage myself. David said he encouraged himself in the Lord. Boy, once I pull that string for the lawnmower, once I get into the word, just one quick pull, boy, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm like a little lawnmower. I'm good for the day. Because God just said he will uphold you. He is with you. Ships do not sink because of the water that's around them. They sink because of the water that gets in them. Watch who you got in your circle. Because some people are drilling holes in the boat when you ain't looking. And you wonder why you're sinking. Be mindful of who, who you got around you. Be mindful of what you're listening to, your, 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 your ear gate, your eye gate. Be mindful of what you're looking at. Be mindful of everything on your boat. Invite Jesus in on your boat. All right? And you're going to be good to go. You feel me? I think you're going to be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. I got a call coming through. Who this is? Hello? Well, it depends on who's calling if Demarcus is here. Like I say, man, I'm from the streets. You can't never say this is him. You got to see what they want first. You know what I'm saying? Okay. How much Demarcus owe? 2000 and what? Two thousand eighty-one dollars. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know who. I don't know who Demarcus is. I never heard of the guy. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. 
all oh that is you know what i'm saying somebody named demarcus owe some money you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna start my day with this phone call you got the wrong number i'm starting my day with peace in my boat and i hope you do the same i love you so much if you made it to the end of this video i need you to hit the like button then i need you to comment the words peace is in my boat that's right peace is not something it's someone it's jesus and we invite him in to be on our boat we lift our hands and say lord have your way take we give you full control over us lord and we thank you we surrender to you we thank you for your peace your word says you give us the peace that surpasses all understanding and we accept that in jesus name we pray amen i love you so much i'll see you on the next video